In the 22nd century, Earth has become a wasteland full of garbage because of humanity's consumerism and lack of care for the ecology. All the remaining survivors got away in a Starliner called Axiom and left behind trash compacting robots to clean up the planet. Unfortunately, the cleanup is a complete failure and 700 years later, there's only one robot left called Wally. Wally plays music while he works and he keeps a roach as his only company. Whenever he finds an interesting item, he takes it back with him to the home he's made inside an old garbage lifter. His collection includes an old movie, and watching it makes him want to have a loved one to hold hands with. Every night, or whenever there's a sandstorm, Wally sleeps on his own shelves by transforming into a cube. When he needs to charge, he lets the sunlight recharge his battery. One afternoon, after having some trouble with a fire, McCree makes an effort and finally stands up again, fridge open and is shocked to see a plant. He puts it inside a boot and takes it home, where something new gets his attention. A little red dot appears suddenly on the ground. Wally begins following the moving light around, but soon the dot multiplies, and Wally discovers the lights come from an incoming rocket. He rushes to hide inside a hole and watches the rocket land, then it releases a modern model called Eve before leaving. Eve immediately begins flying around, searching for the object of her mission. Wally immediately begins developing a crush on her and follows her everywhere, although he still gets scared whenever Eve shoots at something because she heard a noise. The roach isn't as scared and actually approaches Eve, who shoots at it before realizing the roach is an innocent creature and befriending it. Eve can't help giggling at the roach walking on her body, and this makes Wally giggle too. As soon as Eve hears him, she shoots, and Wally only manages to save himself by becoming a cube. Eve comes to check on him and when her scanner confirms he's a mere cleaning robot, Eve ignores him and continues her search. Wally doesn't give up and continues to follow her around, trying to impress her with gifts and tricks to no avail. Eve's focused on her search, but she grows frustrated because she can't find anything. When a magnet crane captures her by accident, Eve finally snaps and sets the whole machine on fire. Wally can see she's in a bad mood and approaches her to comfort her, finally gaining her friendship. At that moment, a sandstorm appears nearby. Eve begins panicking, but Wally quickly drags her to his home. He proceeds to show her all the cool things he has, and Eve actually knows how to use a few of them, like making a flame appear on a lighter. When Wally shows her his beloved movie, Eve makes a recording of it, then she tries to copy Wally's dance steps. This causes Eve to accidentally push Wally against the wall and break him, but Wally doesn't worry, he has plenty of spare parts to fix himself. Wally wants to try to hold Eve's hand, but sadly she takes it away. Next, Wally tries to impress Eve by showing her the plant. This immediately makes her grab the plant and put it away inside her body before going into capsule mode, it turns out that proof of plant life was her objective. Wally gets desperate and uses all methods he can think of to try to wake her up, like leaving her under the sun to charge and even taking her out on dates, but nothing works. Eventually Wally gives up and goes back to work, only pausing to look at the lighter to remember her time with Eve. Suddenly, a rumble gets Wally's attention, the rocket is back, and it's taking Eve away. Wally runs to the rocket and grabs onto its railing so he can come along. The rocket reaches outer space and Wally is amazed by everything he sees, he also uses the closeness to the sun to fully recharge. Eventually they find Axiom hiding in a galaxy far away, and a series of cleaning robots receive the rocket to clean everything from potential contamination, emanation. A little guy called Mo tries to clean Wally, but when other robots take Eve away, Wally begins following them, leaving a track of mud behind. This means Mo begins following him too. They make it to a corridor where Wally discovers the reality behind the current state of humanity, they've all become fat and lazy, and they move around on floating chairs, their eyes never leaving the screen. The management of the Starliner, from teaching the babies to cooking, is all done by robots. Wally's presence gets John attention and causes him to fall off his chair, prompting him to finally stop looking at a screen. While a bunch of robots arrives to push John back on his chair, Wally rushes to go after Eve, and to reach her he asks Mary for some room to move. Mary moves back and this causes her to stop looking at the screen too, discovering the world around her as if it was the first time. Wally pretends to be Eve's handler and goes with her to be checked by Otto, the ship's AI autopilot, who does a quick scan and goes to wake the captain up to bring him the news. Captain McCree is also a lazy bum that doesn't leave his chair, Wally hides under the desk to watch him go through the tedious routine of making sure the system is fine. After giving the population the daily announcements, McCree finally wakes Eve up and sees she's got a positive result. This never happened, and when McCree presses the plant button on his panel, a video immediately starts playing. The president of Earth appears on the screen and explains a positive result means the robots have found plant life on Earth, meaning they can go back. The control panel expels a manual that McCree checks for instructions, and while he's busy Wally tries to approach Eve, who is shocked to see him and quickly makes him hide. McCree activates a robot arm to retrieve the plant, but when Eve opens her body, she's shocked to see the plant is gone. Otto says she's probably broken, so McCree calls it a false alarm and cancels the trip to Earth before sending Eve to be repaired. When Wally finally introduces himself to McCree, he shakes his hand and leaves some dirt on the captain's fingers, thus McCree sends him to be cleaned. Once the robots are gone, 
McCree puts the dirt on the scanner to be analyzed and is surprised by all the things he gets to learn about Earth, so he keeps himself busy asking the AI lots of questions. Eve and Wally arrive at the repair department and Eve is forced into capsule mod with special hardware. Wally almost gets the same treatment, but he dodges the arms and ends up getting a makeover from a faulty beauty assistant. Then, Wally is put in a cage while Eve is given the maintenance treatment. Wally mistakes this for torture, so he breaks the cage with his laser and breaks through the door to rescue Eve. The working robot tries to shoot Wally to stop him, but Wally dodges it and the shot ends up hitting the control panel. This causes all the cages to open, and the robots take the chance to escape. Because they consider Wally their savior, the malfunctioning robots take him with them, and he follows them. When they reach a corridor, a group of guard robots blocks their way and take a picture of them to raise the alarm. The picture appears on all the ship screens, warning the population about rogue robots, and the guards try to arrest them. Eve immediately picks Wally up and flies away, hiding in a window until the guards are gone. Afterward, Eve brings Wally to the elevator, where he tries to be friendly. However she's so angry about these shenanigans that she shoots a screen to shut him up. When the elevator reaches the hangar, Eve tries to put Wally in a pod to send him back to Earth, but he refuses to go if Eve doesn't come too. Suddenly they hear a noise, and Eve and Wally get into capsule mode to hide. The visitor's a little robot controlled by Otto, who brings the plant to send it back to Earth. Wally rushes into the pod to try to rescue the plant, but at that moment the little guy activates the pod and Wally is launched into space. Eve immediately enters an emergency exit and is launched out too while Wally presses all the buttons to make the pod stop, but he activates the self-destruct sequence instead. Eve watches how the pod explodes and thinks it's all over, but Wally suddenly passes by her using a fire extinguisher as if it was a jetpack. Both robots fly around until they finally get to meet in the middle, and Wally reveals he's managed to save the plant. Eve is so happy that she hugs Wally and pushes their foreheads together, sharing a small spark of electricity that feels that a kiss. Wally is shocked but also delighted by this, and he uses his extinguisher to dance with Eve through space as they make their way back to the ship. This is seen by John and Mary, who are finally enjoying the beautiful view of space, and approaching the window allows them to meet each other for real. Eve and Wally get back on the ship, and Eve sneaks around to avoid the guards, leaving Wally behind. She reaches the captain's room safely and hands the plant to McCree, who gets excited because now they can return to Earth. Eve interrupts him to show him the recording she took of the planet, and McCree's disappointed to see Earth isn't the beautiful place he saw in the old pictures. However when Eve plays Wally's old movie too, the sound of music brings back some hope, and McCree decides that if the little plant didn't give up, he shouldn't either. The movie reaches the part about the handholding and Eve begins thinking about it too, especially when the recording suddenly shows her all the things Wally did for her while she was asleep. Meanwhile Wally tries to go looking for Eve by entering a trash chute, and Mo follows him. The captain tries to order the ship to return to Earth, but Otto stops him and asks for the plant. McCree refuses and demands an explanation, thus Otto plays another video. The president of Earth announces the cleanup program was a failure and that toxicity levels make life unsustainable on Earth. This means the project to reconalize is cancelled, and Directive A113 puts the ship on eternal autopilot so humans can stay in space. Otto is loyal to A113 and that's why it had taken the plant from Eve when it checked on her the first time. McCree notices this video is around 700 years old, which means the information is outdated and the plan proves life can be possible on Earth, meaning they should return. Otto calls its little robot to stop them, and when the small guy takes the plant, Eve threatens it. The robot responds by throwing the plant into the trash pipe, but at that moment, Wally climbs out of it with the plant on its head. Eve tries to reunite with Wally, but the little robot captures her. Wally hides the plant inside his body, but Otto electrocutes him and pushes him into the pipe before putting Eve in capsule mode and tossing her too. Then Otto locks McCree in his room to keep him quiet. Seconds later Eve wakes up, thanks to a mouse robot pressing her button, finding herself in the garbage disposal room. Here the machines press the garbage into cubes to then throw them into space, and both Eve and Wally end up inside those cubes. Using her gun, Eve frees herself, but she isn't strong enough to pull Wally out as well and the cubes get ejected. Suddenly Mo shows up and gets stuck on the inner door. The force of the ejection helps Eve get Wally away from the garbage and she flies back to hold on to Mo. The garbage robots notice there's trouble and immediately close the outer doors, helping the trio come back inside. Wally isn't working well, so Eve goes looking for chips to repair him. Unfortunately none of these modern pieces are good for an old model and Wally gives Eve the plant, asking her to prioritize the mission. At first Eve refuses and even tries to hold Wally's hand to make him change his mind, but Wally pushes her hand away and insists Earth is more important, presenting the lighter as proof. Eve realizes Earth will have the necessary parts to fix him, thus she grabs everyone and flies back into the main area of the ship. A guard sees them and raises the alarm, but Eve pushes it away and keeps going while the other rogue robots follow her. Otto sees everything on the screens and activates as more guards. McCree also sees it all too and begins messing with the control panel so he can do a transmission. The captain appears all over the ship to show Eve the instruction manual, pointing at the area where the plant should be deposited. 
Eve and Wally immediately begin moving only to find themselves surrounded by guards robots. However the rogue robots immediately begin fighting the guards to clear the way for their savior. Meanwhile McCree puts a picture of the plant on the screen and calls Otto, pretending to have the plant to taunt the AI into coming after him. As soon as Otto enters the room, McCree jumps on it to fight it, and in the struggle he kicks the little robot through the window. After lots of pulling, he manages to reach the control and activates the traveling mode of the ship, now the robots start to put the humans ready to sleep through their trip back to Earth. The special capsule for the plant opens in the middle of the ship, but when Eve and Wally are about to reach it, Otto pushes McCree off and steers the ship to make the plant fall. All the humans fall off their chairs, and Mary and John have to work together to save a bunch of babies. Two transporting couches begin falling as well, but Eve stops them right before people can get crushed. Otto shuts down the special capsule, so Wally rushes to keep it up, getting even more broken. McCree makes an effort and finally stands up again, allowing him to jump on Otto and turn it off for good. Then the captain puts the ship back into place, and he goes to check on Wally while asking everyone to look for the plant. Mo, the rogue robots, and the humans work together to retrieve the plant and toss it into the capsule. This activates the returning program again and releases Wally from the pressure, but he isn't working. In just 10 seconds, the ship pulls off a hyperjump and returns to Earth. As soon as they land, Eve takes Wally to his home and fixes him, shooting a hole in the ceiling to make sunlight recharge. Wally wakes up but Eve is devastated to see he doesn't recognize her, not even when she shows him his collection in the movie. It seems Wally has lost his personality and he just begins working like a regular robot. Eve approaches him to say one last goodbye by holding his hand and giving him a little electric kiss, this causes Wally to suddenly hold Eve's hand back. Little by little, Wally's personality comes back, and he and Eve have a sweet moment together while McCree shows the humans how to grow the plant. From then on, robots and humans work together to rebuild their society with much more nature-friendly methods. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.